default so to do that first I will go to new ISO metric part so then click on ordered uh, select this uh, icon and the guide then go to base reference plane enable them go to home click on sketch so click on the coincident plane at the top plane and uh, click on project from sketch okay you just click over these two and now we want to create a square head of 32 to a depth of 20 so to do that so go to offset take the distance as 16 so from this side you take 16 again from this side from this side and also from this side then go to select remove these two center lines then go to trim corner between these two these two between these two then within these two then go to close sketch click on extrude go to home click on extrude click on this and take the length which is of uh, uh, 20 mm so give to a depth of 20 mm so i'm going to take the distance as 20 mm and click on the top side now we'll go to home click on sketch we're going to take the coincident plane take that as the angled plane so click on a planar face or reference plane i want to click on this then click on the face or edge or plane to be the base of the profile plane we are going to consider this and now click click on near end of the axis for the reference plane to orientation i will just look click on the near end of the axis as this point now it is start rotating then click to set the angle or key in the value you just click on this so now the angle of rotation has been changed to the this position now we will fit this then go to zoom area then take point 2d so go to project to sketch click on ok click on this line and also on this line and take the center line so then go to point 2d so point 2d is offset it is 22 so 4.4 mm so from here you take 4.4 then go to line take the end point of this and take around 100 mm angle minus 78.8 so here you just click on this so then uh, go to select click on this and delete this then come down to zoom area zoom area then go to trim corner between these two and between these two now we have the cross section which has been created go to close sketch then go to revolved cut come down to this and say revolved cut click on this profile accept click on the center line and revolve it through 360 degrees so you're going to get the chamfer so this is how you will be able to do the square chamfering so once you do this then we will go for this we have a square of 22 mm so here it's a cube actually we have a 22 mm cube so to do that so go to uh, rotate you just rotate about this and then go to home click on sketch click on the bottom plane and now we will go into project to sketch okay you just click on this and click on this and then go to offset take the distance as 11 so you offset the vertical sorry you offset this vertical line on either side by 11 mm and then the horizontal line also by 11 mm on either side then go to select click on this and delete both horizontal and vertical center lines so go to team corner between these two between these two between these two and between these two then you just close to sketch now we want to have an extrusion so go to home click on extrude click on this accept take the distance as 22 mm so you just click over this once you get this now we go for the uh, this distance which is uh, m22 there is a round now so 98 minus 22 so we're going to have a circle so first we'll go to go for home click on sketch so click on this go to circle take this as the circle of diameter 22 
so is it the radius we are getting no the diameter which is 22 then go to close sketch so click on extrude click on extrude click on this line accept then go to 90 minus 22 it will going to be 76 7 98 minus 22 which is 76 so you just click on the side of the side of the feature side of the feature at the bottom side now we are going to have the thread so to have the thread you just click on home click on home or thread click on uh, standard cell click on ok so click on the cylinder of thread and then we need to have the offset so the offset value which is 50 mm from the uh, other end so we will take the distance from here so we are going to take this end itself we are going to take it as m m22 then uh, to cylinder extent we are going to enter the finite value the finite value of this will be so the thread of the distance which will be 50 mm so we will give 50 mm finite value which is 50 and say finish so then we will go for application button go to information go to material table we will try to fix the material which is fe 410w so you just click on fe 410w and click on apply to model and then go to application button go to information go to file properties go to summary then the part name is square head bolt so we type square head bolt and click on ok and click on save so type square head bolt so this is how we will be able to create this part model of square head bolt